in your mind, what allowed you guys to kind of flip the defense from giving up where 60% in the first half to being able to lock down in the second half and over time? Do what you guys do? Um, just staying with it. I think some of the shots, they hit some tough ones. You know, they were feeling good first half. Um, there's been a lot, of, a lot of tough threes. And, you know, we were scoring. It's just like just keep weathering the storm, you know. Can't make them all game. And if they do, kudos to them. So we just stuck with it, you know, just kept helping each other out. Somebody, somebody gets blown by, next guy step up. So we just being aggressive and just stepping up for each other. Okay, well, can you speak to the domino effect of, you know, when Spencer started getting downhill, how were you sort of finding when you found you, you know, with Tyler Royce, Cam, that would have been a dagger for the corner, et cetera? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, Spence, man, was going crazy and just his confidence to let him have the ball in his hand and create, you know. You know, he scored a couple times OT and then dimed us. So just let him create and he will figure it out. You know, we just got to give, give him a pass, give him a look. But, um... Just him being aggressive and it's just so damn skilled. So I'm just grateful for him. You guys came into tonight for best defensive rating the last four or five games during this stretch where four wins in five games. I mean, balance scoring, you know, you and especially when you think this is kind of starting to look like what was envisioned when they kind of remade the roster and brought you and those guys in? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, but I think our biggest thing is trying to win, whatever it takes. Um, as I, you know, if I score five and we win, like, I'm not tripping. I just want to go out there and win and be aggressive and uh, yeah, do whatever it takes. How do you guys set up that last possession where you kind of sell that form with not with uh, overtime? No, 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 yeah, overtime, not regulation. Sorry. Back to back. Which the one? Yeah, Spencer eventually got Finney, it. Finney, the, yeah. the three? Yeah. Um, we just gave the ball to Spence to let him operate and spaced out for him. I'm not defending that. Oh, uh, defending them yeah. at the end? Yeah. Um, just staying together, just talking talking to each other. We was up three. Were we up three at the end? Or two? Three. Three. And we just, you know, last end of the fourth, you know, we gave up a three. And we just, you know, we just came back and just, you know, was mindful and locked in to not do that again. And we just guarded and tried to help each other out. And um, we got to stop. When you look at these last two games. I know you had your regular workload in Milwaukee yesterday, but with Milwaukee and this, it's going to be a battle from the inside of the paint. It's going to be the same one on Sunday. What can you take as a group as you guys get ready for the Nuggets? Um, you know, just locking on personnel, you know, with the coaches and the scout, but just, just staying together, you know. Basketball is gaming runs and teams make runs. We're on the road. Just staying together, I think, is the biggest thing. You know, if we don't mess up, you know, we're human. We're going to mess up on things, and um, we just stay together. You know, the whole 48, well, 53 today, um, good things will happen. Apologies, this was asked earlier, but when it comes to playing small, Jock Bond said that that has helped. You guys have that experience, and that was beneficial for tonight. How has that helped you guys, especially when it comes to spreading out the floor and capitalizing? Yeah, just making them guys on defense react. Um, you know, five guys out there go all shoot and drive, so I think that's just tough for opponent. Um, you know, when I was in Phoenix, you know, Dallas, when they were doing that, it was, it was tough to guard when you got a guy that can get in the paint and you got to overhelp, but you got shooters everywhere, so it's definitely tough. So um, just that's what we're doing, just give it, get to one of the guys to create, and then everybody be ready to shoot and drive or make a play. Kyle, since we didn't talk to you last night, Cam Johnson obviously was busting your chops when you guys first got here about you not playing because of the trade and what you were like. I mean, what, uh, sitting in the final three quarters is probably not in your DNA either. Just what, what was that like? Um, was there any protest with Jock, or you just kind of understood it was going to be a short night for you and that was that? Uh, yeah, I knew it was going to be a short night. I tried to, I tried to, I tried to, I tried to fight a half at least, but um. But understand and, you know, getting the other guys, you know, on the bench going. So I'm reasonable, like, stuff like that, especially if you want to get, you know, people on the bench, young guys, like, get going and stuff. I, you know, I got nothing wrong with that. I just, I trust you, I ain't, I ain't that selfish to let me just want to be out there the whole time just so I could do this and that. Like, obviously, I want to be out there and, and go out there and try to win, but when I know it's for the greater good, I ain't no tripping.